<clears throat> All right, ladies, I'm going to show you how easy this is to apply the gel moment polish. Um, I'm going to use this color lady in, the, in a dress, um, a beautiful orange for the summertime. I've already filed my nails and um, used the with I filed with the white side and just gently buffed with the gray side. And then you're gonna take your uh, cleansing pad and make sure that you clean off each of your nails. This is to remove any oils that are on your fingers, um, but also that filing dust and dirt. So you can get under the nails. I've also taken a look at my nails to see if I needed to push my cuticles back and you would do that. You can do it before or after uh, your cleansing pad, but it makes more sense to probably do it before in case there's any a little debris that comes off uh, when you do that. So what you want to do is roll your polish. That's just so that you don't get any air bubbles and look at how pretty this is for summer. You want to um, wipe off as much polish as you can. You're trying to go for really thin coats. And let me see if I can zoom in here. So what you want to do is start above the cuticle edge and push down to the cuticle. You want to leave a gap between your skin and the polish. You gently pull up with just a light pressure and then do both sides. You're going for as thin of coats as possible. So the first coat is most likely going to be tra uh, transparent, which is the look that you're going for. I like to do three coats. That's kind of my, um, my go-to. And I feel like that gives me the most salon quality uh, look. So right now I'm just capping my tip and you can pull back the skin and you just want to get a nice edge on that nail. And then you're gonna flip it over and you can see that little ridge there. Then you're just gonna smooth that out. Okay, and if you get any on your skin you want to use your cuticle pusher just to wipe that that away. And you can see that I have just a really thin gap. I'm not touching my cuticle with the polish and I'm not flooding the cuticle with with polish. You can keep your cleansing pad handy just to wipe off your tool. And then when you're happy with that, you can go ahead and cure it. I'm just using the uh, professional lamp. You just want to cure this for the full 45 seconds. I will fast forward this video so you don't have to watch the whole thing here. Okay, so then that's the first coat. And then you can go ahead and do as many coats as you want with that same process. If you get too thick a polish, then it won't cure properly. You might get some bubbling. So you really want to try to get as thin a coat as possible and you want to cap each time. You're just looking for like a thin little cap on there. And then when you've 
inspected it, make sure you don't have any polish on your skin or you don't want it. And you can go ahead and cure it again for a full 45 seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more coat. This is kind of a, like a hunter's orange. If I have any hunters in the watching. <laughs> Tan, tan skin. Mm, that's it. Happy painting, ladies.